Are you curious about what devices are connected to your network? Whether you are a cybersecurity enthusiast, an ethical hacker, or an IT professional, understanding your network is crucial. The only channel in which we deliver in-depth, easy-to-follow tutorials designed to elevate your tech skills. In today's video, we explore NetDiscover, a simple yet powerful tool for network scanning in Kali Linux. Stay tuned with us as we guide you through each step ensuring you can confidently use this tool to discover every device on your network. In this educational video, we'll dive into NetDiscover, a passive network scanning tool that's essential for discovering live hosts on a network. NetDiscover is particularly useful in situations where you don't have access to a DHCP server a need to map out the devices connected to a network quickly. Whether you are conducting a security audit or simply exploring your home network, NetDiscover is a tool you'd want in your arsenal. So, let's start by launching NetDiscover. To do this, open up your terminal and type in sudo NetDiscover. And then you hit enter. You'll be prompted to put in your password, so go ahead and do that. And the net discover will start mapping up the network. So that means you have to connect to the network you'd want to find the total number of devices connected. So this command runs the net discover in passive mode, which means it listens for app or would I say ARP request to detect active hosts on your network app simply means address resolution protocol so for beginners app is a protocol used to map an ip address to a physical machine address that is recognized in the local network so netdiscover uses this protocol to identify devices connected to the same network running it with sudo as i did ensures that you have the necessary permissions to scan the network however in a case where you wanted to specify the specific network interface you wanted the scan should happen let me go ahead and open the different um, terminal here in an instance where you want to be specific about which network you want net discovered to listen to you'd have to type in sudo then net discover space you flag with an i which means interface and then you follow it by the interface you want if you had a wlan zero i mean a wlan zero which was wi-fi and you wanted to monitor the number of devices connected you would specify by a, a wlan zero if you wanted to do it through an ethernet you could type in eth zero and then you hit enter and is going to go ahead and do its job for you so i'm going to go ahead and close this so the command performs an app scan on the local network to discover live hosts so it went ahead to identify three devices here we have one two and three and then it has given us the map addresses of these devices over here so we have one two three devices and also i'm not running this scan on any network i'm running it exactly here at home and as a result of that you are not going to see um, a lot of networks displayed here i only have my virtual machine which is basically the same machine running so the information here is going to be limited so however we have the ip addresses here of the devices found on the network we also have our MAC addresses here, which MAC addresses simply means media access control, which are the which are also displayed right here. The counts you see here are the number of app requests or response captured for the IP addresses. So 34, the 34 you see here are the number of requests or responses from this IP address. 
the lens is the size of the captured packet and then the mac vendor is the manufacturer of the device networks interface and as i told you i'm running this at home so yeah that's how come you are seeing almost just the same device Sometimes you might want to scan a specific range of IP addresses instead of the entire network. To do this, let me go ahead and close this and then open a different terminal. Now, if you want to scan a specific range of IP addresses instead of scanning the whole network, you could you have to flag it with an R. So simply type in your sudo your net discover space you flag with an r and then you provide the range of ip addresses you want so we have a, a, our common range to be 192 so when you use the r flag here is an option which is particularly useful in large networks where scanning the entire network might be inefficient so by narrowing down the range, you can focus on the specific segment of networks you are interested in. It's going to start from 0 to 24. The 24 notation indicates a subnet max of 255 by 255 by 255, which defines the range of IP addresses that are going to be scanned. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And also, just as I said earlier on, I'm running this on at home so i don't expect to see anything crazy nevertheless once the scan is complete net discover will present a list of live hosts on the network displaying their ip addresses mac addresses and even the vendor of the network interface card so here is an example i just put from the internet where you can see the number of interfaces the ip addresses the MAC addresses and also their network interface card, the NIC card right there. Interpreting this result is straightforward. The IP addresses identify the device on the network, while the MAC addresses is a unique identifier of the device's network interface. The vendor column shows the manufacturer of the network interface, which can provide additional context about the device. For instance, seeing a Cisco MAC address could indicate a network switch or router, while an Apple MAC address likely points to an iPhone or a MacBook or other Apple devices. Samsung, the same thing. And that's how you use NetDiscover to scan and map devices on your network in Kali Linux. I hope this tutorial has equipped you with the knowledge to effectively monitor and understand your network environment. Remember, all the content provided in this channel is for educational purposes only, so use these tools responsibly. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, because your support helps us to continue creating quality content like this. Don't forget to like the video and share it with others who might find it very beneficial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial on the Ultra Blue channel.